Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Zuzu playing. Today we're going to talk about our turnip stock market in Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Before we start today's topic, let's give our special guests that are from my island a warm welcome. So today we have Raymond. He's not only a successful businessman but also a fashion icon. What can I say? Look at his tail coat. That shows his fabulous fashion tastes. We also have Ruby and Audi, two future pop stars. Ruby pays special interests in nature, so she sure as hell will not miss on today's topic: magical turnip market. Audi, um, I need to make sure my two pop stars get. Equal screen time. <coughs> This is a secret. All right. So for our very last guest, Judy, she is a mature, caring, lovely, and smart lady. I am not surprised at all that she had a lot of successes in turnip business. All right. Let's give them a round of applause. All right. Let's cut straight to the topic. Turn it. So let's actually talk about some basics we need to know about turnip stock market in Animal Crossing: New Horizons. So Daisy May, which is the person that we're going to buy the turnips from, so she only showed up from Sunday morning, so she will disappear after 12 p.m. Those who sleep past 12 p.m., which is me, need to get up early. And go buy turnips from Daisy May, and we also need to know, which is the second point I'm going to talk about. You cannot sell turnip. You cannot do any turnip business with, you know, Nook's cranny's owner Timmy and Tommy on Sunday, which means you probably want to sell all of your turnips before Sunday, and turnip will rot. On the next Sunday, when Daisy may visit you again, so keep that in mind. However, rotten turnips can be used to attract flies or ants. For ants, you need a larger empty spot with no hardtails covers that spot. So just keep that in mind. Rotten turnips can still be used on something. The fourth point I'm going no sorry. The fifth point I'm going to talk about is. You need to be careful if you're doing time traveling. So the time traveling will cause turnip to rot. If you go, you know, into the future and it's like one week ahead, when you come, when you go visit the spot that you, you know, you actually collect all of your turnips, they will all be rotten. So keep that in mind. And turnips can be stuck on. Onto 100, so 100 turnip is one patch. Unfortunately, you cannot really put the turnips into your house inventory. You can only just drop the items on the ground.、Uh, you probably do not want to do that on your island because that will decrease your star rating of your island. If you have a lot of turnips, you can't actually put it inside inside of your basement. That's what I do. All right, so move on. So we can actually buy turnips or sell turnips on your friends' islands or anybody's islands if they like you visit it. So do keep that in mind. It's very very important. We will touch this topic later on. And then you also need to remember, which is the very very important, very last point is. Turnip prices will change twice per day, so there will be one price before 12 p.m. and one price after 12 p.m. You guys better pay attention to that one, okay? All right, now 
I'm going to tell you guys how to predict what kind of a pattern your turnip stock market is going to be on your island and all of the calculations. And at the very end of this video, I will provide you some links to the turnip calculators, the reputable ones. All right, so let's start it. So this actually requires a little bit of math, not too complicated, so don't discourage yourself. All right, so the first part is, let's say the Sunday turnip buying price. Let's say the price is X. And then we're going to talk about the four, four types in the turnip stock market. So the first type is decreasing. You know, just by the name, you know, it's just gonna go all the way downhill. There's no way we can, you know, get it back. So the second one is the random type. I call it wavy. So just imagine it goes up and down, up and down. It's completely random. There's no like a steady pattern of it. And the third one, we call it a small spike. I call it type four. The reason why I call it type four is because small spike. So you will see four numbers. Um, is up numbers. So it's a growing number. You will have four growing numbers. So let's say the previous number before the first growing number is N. Then the first growing number is N plus A and N plus B, N plus C and N plus D. And after N plus D, the fourth growing points, A will just go down. So this is called small spike and I call it type four. And the very last one is big spike. Big spike is basically the best one, the best pattern that everybody dreamed to get on their island. And the big spike, we, I call it type three because it will have three um, up growing numbers. After the third up growing numbers, it will go downhill. All right. So now let's talk about the equation to give use this equation we can actually predict roughly what kind of a type we will get in this week so let's say the monday morning price is y all right so we use y divided by x and times 100 is equal to a if A is bigger or equal to 91%, it is going to be either wavy or small spike on your island. If A is smaller or equal, no, if A is bigger or equal to 85%, but smaller than 91%, then we will get either small spike, big spike, or decreasing pattern. Eh. It still has the dangerous decreasing in there. And then the third one is when A is bigger or equal to 80%, but smaller than 85%, it will be a small spike or big spike. This one is good. So basically, if you use the equation to calculate the A value and it's between 80% and 85%, you're lucky. So you are basically having a guaranteed upselling price this week. And then we move on. So if A is bigger or equal to 60%, but smaller than 80%, it's going to be a random or small spike. And very last, when A is smaller than 60%, it's only the small spike. So that's all. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is on Monday morning, if you do this equation, you are basically going to have a rough idea about what kind of a pattern you will be expecting in this week. All right, so let's talk about the second part I want to tell you guys, which is how to distinguish between small spike and big spike. They're very similar, however, not exactly the same. As I said before, big spike will give you the, fi the final selling price. The big spike is going to give you is huge compared to the small spike. But as I said, the only difference between small spike and big spike is that small spikes have four upgrowing, you know, selling points. 
selling price, and Big Spike has only three. So how to distinguish between these two? Which now I'm going to introduce another value B. So B represents the second increase point in your whole week. Let's say Monday morning price is not really higher than the X, which is the buying price, and Monday afternoon is still not really higher. It's just going down, right? And let's say the Tuesday morning, although that price is actually not bigger or greater than the value X, however, it is greater than the morning afternoon price. That is your first. That will be your first growing price. So just keep that in mind. Always compare that with the previous price. All right. So. That's not really the price we're looking for. We're looking for the second increase price. So let's say that value is B. When B is greater than 1.4 times your buying price X, then that will be the big spike. And if B is smaller than 1.4 times your buying price, which is the X value, this represents the small spike. So if you are lucky, lucky you, if you having the A value, which we talked earlier, is greater or equal to 80% and smaller than 85%, which means this week you're going to get either a small spike or a big spike. But you want to know which one is it? Then you can actually use your second increase price B to calculate which one is it. So you will not sell your turnip before the best selling price. All right, now we're going to talk about the part three, which is the determination slash conclusion day. So as I mentioned earlier in the turnip basics, as I said, you cannot sell turnips on Sunday. So you have to get rid of all of your turnips as late as Saturday. However, when was the time you have to determine? Okay, my turnip price is never going to go up this week. It's just it. It's decreasing. I have to get rid of it. When is the time for you to make that shot? When? When is that time? Well, I'm telling you right now. It's Thursday afternoon after 12 p.m. on Thursday. When you go check the price, let's introduce another value in here. Value C represents the Thursday afternoon turnip price. So when you go talk to Timmy and Tommy on Thursday afternoon, you got this value C. If C is greater than X, which is your Sunday morning、um, turnip buying price, if C is greater than X, all right, wait, wait a bit. You know the price is probably gonna bunk back. Wait, or you can sell it that day if you want. It depends on what kind of a pattern you're having on that day. If it's wavy, if it's random, just just sell it. Just you know to be safe. However, if the C is smaller than X, well, unfortunately, you are having no luck this week. It's just it. You know, just go find some friends. If they have a better, you know, selling price, get rid of all of your turnips. They're, they're not. The price is not gonna bounce back. At least not on your island. It's very sad. So just to remember, Thursday afternoon after 12 p.m. That is the time. That value will help you to make, you know, your conclusion whether to get rid of all of your turnips or hold on to them for the last try. As a good businessman, you have to know when is the best time to make the call. Alrighty, the very last part I'm going to touch about is how to, you know, the percentage of each patterns that show up on your island. Before that, I just want to say one thing:、um, you have to be aware. Time traveling not only will mess up your turnips and make them rot. Also, when you time travel, that will reset the turnip stock pattern on your island. So keep that in mind. Just for example, if this week、um, the
the turnip pattern on my island is small spike. And then I time traveled and I go back to the date, the right date, you know, and it will not be small spike anymore. The pattern might change to decrease, might change to big spike. We don't know, but do keep that in mind. The time traveling not only mess with your turnips, but also mess with your turnip stock market patterns. All right. So let's talk about the um, the charts that I'm showing on the screen right now. So I just want to say the the pattern that you have this week actually is getting uh, affected by your previous week's pattern. So the first column is your previous week's pattern. So the row for that pattern is basically show you like the possibilities you will get for in the following week. I'm not going to read the whole pattern for you guys. You can see this and there's also a links I will put in the description box and you can click in. It also contains this charts in there. And also I will link several turnip calculators in the description box as well. If you do not want to go through all of this math and you don't want to be so stressed about it, you know, those turn of calculators will do the job for you. Okay, that's basically everything that I'm going to talk about. I actually wanted to invite Daisy May. However, her manager, Nintendo, disagreed. I cannot invite Miss Dizzy May to today's show. So sorry guys, sorry my audience, we just have to meet Dizzy May only on Sunday morning. Don't forget about that. So this is basically everything I want to talk about and I think you guys need to know about Turnip Stock Market in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you so much for watching my videos today and thank you so much for coming to today's show, my beautiful islanders, Raymond, Ruby, Audie, and Judy. So for all of my audience, I hope you guys will stay healthy, stay safe. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up and if you like, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss any new contents in the future. Thank you so much again for watching my video today and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye! Alright guys, stop, stop laughing. It's done. The record is done. Hey guys! Just, just chill out. Oh my goodness, they won't stop laughing. Somebody help! Doctors! Ah! Oh my god, they're completely crazy. Whatever. Me. Hey guys, do you think this lighting works for us? No? Yes? No? Yes? Oh my goodness. This is so creepy. Alright, alright, sorry. My bad, my bad.